So for those of you who don't know, the one wearing <laughs> red and blue is Rosanna. And the one wearing white and some, this is brown, by the way, <laughs> although it looks like back. That's Madalina. <laughs> so hello. We're <laughs> color coded today. We hope that helps. <laughs> This will be a very interesting meeting. Uh, we're going to leave this meeting being blurry. <laughs> so, um, but you know, it's not the image that counts, it's the person, right? All right. So should we start or are we waiting for anybody else? I think we should start. We should start, okay. Oh, <coughs> Rosanna's fingers are very focused. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's just... Let's just start. So hello and welcome to our lovely sumo meeting. I am back again from PTO. I was fixing up my house, yay me. I have a house which is livable right now. So I'm very happy. Um, so let's get this started by talking about the previous action items. And we had a few here. The first one was for Zana to schedule a meeting about live chat. Yeah. Um, there's um, there there is a a, a, um, a post in the forums with a doodle. So if you're interested in being part of this meeting, uh, please uh, go and tell us when you're going to be available, and um, and we'll find the best time this week to start uh, our discussions about uh, live chat. So please go and check that, and let me let me paste the link there. Cool. All right. Um, next one. It's still you. So it's about introduce computer of the week moment at the end of each meeting. Yeah. To figure out the format. Yep. Yeah. So it's um, we talked about last last week. Uh, you weren't here, but uh, the team talked about. Um, the fact that we could just, you know, every week uh, have someone who is uh, the contributor of the week. Mm -hmm. And that someone could be based on, you know, like an exceptional thing that they have done or because they did many little things or because they have been contributing, you know, and, and you know, in various ways. Um, and then contributors could actually, other contributors could nominate mm -hmm. people. Yeah. And then at the at the end of the of each meeting, we would say, okay, the contributor of the, of the week could be this or that person, right? So I think that we can try it just today. Uh, and let's check: is there is there anyone on the line? Any contributors? Hello, hello. Uh, no. There's no. no. Okay. okay. There's no we one in the her. participant list that I see. Okay, so we can we can ask on the IRC channel and see if we can get any any nominations and get started this week. How do you what do you think about that? Let's do it. Perfect. I think it's a great idea. It's an awesome idea. All right. So the next action item from last week was something that I don't understand because I wasn't present at the, at the <laughs> meeting. Rotating show and tell thingy, unicorns and stuff or stories. <laughs> so what's the story about unicorns, please fill me in. Yeah, I think this is, this is actually nice to, to, to talk again about. We had a lot of crazy uh, ideas last meeting, I see. Um, yeah. Pat, Patrick on the call? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, because I think that, you know, you had the unicorn, right? Yeah. I right. do. Uh, unfortunately, my camera quit working, and I'm trying to figure it out, but I'm not sure what's going on. Otherwise, I'd show you a unicorn. Okay. Well, you know, the, the, <laughs> the image is very blurry, so we're gonna put here uh, an orange, uh, an orange tree in front of the of the camera. That's our contribution to the to the call today. To add a little. <laughs> color. Okay, so I understand that this, this thing is about adding something. Yeah, actually at the end of the call, I'm just putting it there because, you know, it, this, this call is very bad and no one can see it, <laughs> so we can have it here. But the idea is, yeah, to have a moment at the end of the call where we all kind of have something we want to share, maybe something mm. goofy, 
Um, I know that many of us has the banana. We have bananas that make this squeaky noise, uh, and we use them, um, you know, sometimes to tell others that we kind of we kind of made a mistake. So you know, this type of things. That, that's the idea to have it at the end of the call. All right. So the Berlin office is participating today with a very very orange. It's kind of a Christmas tree. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a yeah, it's sort of like a Firefox. Christmas tree. Yeah, but it can be a unicorn because you cannot see anything in it. Yeah, you could. Yeah, maybe it's the corn of the unicorn, and that's you know, behind the you know, underneath the table. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody else to share anything? Take one, take two. Now, at the end of the call, we'll we'll, we'll give it a try okay. at the end. Okay. I I think David is preparing something. He looks like he's. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not. But I, I, I was gonna say that I think I, the we should decide who is doing it next week, and then so that person has some time to think about what should I be a meaningful thing to share, um, with the uh, with in this meeting. And so I, I, you know, I could obviously volunteer to do it next week, but but I could I would be more interested in seeing other people do it. Uh, <laughs> That it would be more of a surprise to see what what comes yeah. out of it. Right, right, right. Well, let's see. You know, like who wants to volunteer for next week? I think I. Think oh, that I was right. hoping that Michael. Michael no. is. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be <laughs> off next week. Oh, that's what he was. Okay, David. I think that leads too. that leads us. To... Why are people off next week? Is there is anything going on? <laughs> what did I miss? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's just funny. Oh, wow. Half the team is off next week, it seems like. Oh, really? Is it? Yeah. So there's Kadir, oh. Michael, Ebay, um, uh, Germany, quit Monday. I don't even know what that means. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it some holiday <laughs> next Monday? Cool no. quit. All right. Uh, <laughs> yep. Next Monday is a holiday in Germany, an official one. Yeah. So five people will be offline uh, next Monday. So I wonder if we should even have the meeting next Monday. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter next Monday or the Monday after that. Somebody yeah. Needs yeah. Somebody needs to. Yeah. Yeah. So Michael, Michael has uh, either a story to share or something to show or anything, uh, a combination thereof by the next meeting, which will probably happen two weeks from now. Uh -huh. I think that's the. the that's Memorial Day. So <laughs> I'm going to be off that day uh, too. So. So next but meeting though. It's you, regardless David. Regardless of when. What? It's you, David. You do it. You can do it. Yeah, but yeah, but seriously though, I'm not sure if we really should have a meeting if it's only seven people. Uh, half of the, the whole group will be off. So, but that's a question, I guess, for this for this group. I'm happy to do it, but it just seems to me like that might not be a, a particularly useful meeting. Okay, let us let us let us check again. Like to be honest, I I, I wasn't even sure that that Germany wasn't a holiday, so maybe uh you know yeah. Maybe we can shift it and have it like next week. Um, we'll we'll update the team on that. Let's put that on the action items, right? Yeah. Uh, anyway, for next week or the week after that, any time that the next meeting is gonna take place, David, you should. Um... You are the unicorn. Yeah, you're the unicorn. No, I think Michael is. I think you guys <laughs> are misunderstanding this. Okay, so that's only if we're not having a meeting. I'm gonna be off the next two weeks. So, but right. we may not be having a meeting the next two weeks. Whoever comes first is either Michael or me. All right. Okay, I put an action item for both of you. Somebody has to do it. All right. Okay, now that all the unicorns and stuff and stories are settled, we need to move on to Sumo Dev update. All right. Yay. So, uh, <laughs> real quick, I just wanted to say before Kadir um, goes, uh, we had an epic. We're finishing up an epic sprint. Uh, we are pretty much done with the HTML emails. There's just two small ones left that you probably will never see because they're pretty obscure. And also, we've done a bunch of improvements, small improvements to the AQ flow. Um, there's still more to come. And we're doing all our charts conversion, which you probably noticed. And Kadir, you want to go through right. right? Yes, that was the update on the last uh, sprint. So uh, the current sprint will be actually quite similar. So. We have coming up in the next sprint that is starting tomorrow, uh, the rest of the ask a question uh, flow improvements. Uh, I think it's the last batch now. And also, we are going to try something new. It's called uh, the forum integration. 
So, so far, only people who searched either on our site or on Google were able to reach uh, the forums. Um, but we think there is a lot of interesting long tail information in the forums that is beneficial to users. So we're trying to make that more accessible to more people, also to those who would rather like to navigate than to search. Um, so, so the first step of this is making uh, the forum taking bits and pieces out of the forum and uh, elevating them. So the first thing that we are doing here is now showing related discussions uh, next to related articles um, and seeing if this is driving up um, our helpful votes uh, and whether this is beneficial to users or not. So that is um, our roadmap item. Those two things, improving the Ask a Question flow and the forum integration. Then in our 25% time, we're going to handle the rest of the HTML emails um, and uh, saving the language selection on Sumo uh, for users who visit us again. Then for the community, we are doing a number of things here. Uh, one of them is finally moving to uh, a system where localizers get default uh, rights so that they can also, that they don't um, depend on the community management team anymore not on, on us anymore to designate reviewers in their locales. That is a pretty big thing. So far, we've always been there and we had to assign rights to, uh, or permissions to a person, which is really uh, kind of like a bottleneck. So now the community leader, uh, the local leader of a language can just designate uh, reviewers however he or she might see fit. So I'm really excited about that. Um, also, we are moving the last pieces of uh, graphs that we have um, from high charts to rickshaw. So this sprint we will be done with all of that so that we can, in the next sprint, focus on improving uh, what we have and get new charts and more interesting things that have been waiting for us to, to move to the new system. Um, yeah, and that's what we are doing for users uh, or for the community in the sprint in our 25% time. Any questions? Any questions for Sumo Dev? No. Anyway, I think that's great news. And there's a lot of things that we were looking forward to happen there. So I'm very happy to see that all these things are finally happening. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I just wanted to say that, you know, it took, it took a long time, but we pretty much, I, I, I went through the all the reviewers and now we have a list of the people who are actually reviewing and in the locales and we have a bunch of people who are still in those groups but they haven't uh, made any contributions in a long time um, so we're going to notify them that their um their review rights are going away but of course if they come back and then if they step up to their responsibilities they will get of course their review rights back um, and of course we're going to use the new guidelines that michael worked out for the kb um structure right michael so if, 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 if we're, you know, the reviewers that are going to stay in the reviewers group um, are going to be the ones that have uh, the contributions that they needed for that. And the localizers are going to have their own uh, rights management system. So I, I'm really happy about it because um, it, this is going to give local leaders a lot of flexibility and how to manage their locale. So that's pretty cool. Yep. Great work. So well done. Absolutely, yeah, and thanks again, Rosanna, for actually going through the list and sorting out uh, the huge uh, list of, of uh, reviewers that we have added over the last three years to make sure that we have a clean list for this new feature. Thanks yeah, also for that. Work. Thanks. All right, then we can move on to UX update. All right, so this is an interesting one. Uh, we talked about this during the uh, platform meeting on Thursday, but I heard that that was a short one, so <laughs> I That was thought... an awesome video. I hope everyone saw it. <laughs> the best, best meeting ever. Yeah, so I thought I would bring it up here again to make sure that everyone has actually uh, seen this and can contribute to this. So what's, what's this about? It's the product landing pages and topic landing pages that we're currently redesigning to make them more efficient. Uh, to make sure that people uh, understand better what we are offering and um, understand the navigation of the site better so that they can reach the article that they're looking for. Uh, so to that end, we are uh, redoing uh, the product landing page and the topic landing pages. 
So this week, uh, Bram um, uh, produced the topic and subtopic landing pages. Um, and these are final recommendations. So Bram and I have been working on this for quite a while. Um, it was back and forth, but these are recommendations. So we have, now we have a few weeks to work on these. Uh, so I would love to get feedback from everyone who is interested in this work. Uh, you can see the design principles that, um, that we had when we discussed this, when we came up with the mockups, and the goals of this design um, right in the Etherpad. So based on that, if you could provide feedback on this, this it will be extremely helpful. And we have time to incorporate that, come up with new uh, mockups, and present them here next week and the week after that, before we finally move them into uh, the next sprint, and then have them implemented. So right now, uh, what you can see is the topic landing page and the subtopic landing page. But um, later this week, we're also going to put up the product landing page for discussion. And I'm going to present that during the uh, support platform meeting on Thursday, as always. Right. Oh, yeah, and since I have a minute or two, maybe because the last <coughs> one was so short, let me actually very quickly, uh, in case that uh, people don't have the time to read through the whole leader pad, we had uh, three design uh, principles that guided us. One of them was uh, keeping the navigation consistent from page to page, from the product landing page to the topic landing page uh, to the article, to make sure that people always have an understanding of where they are in the process. That was the first thing. Uh, then the second thing was showing up more of the content up front. So, um, we wanted to let people know before they have to click through everything what, what's coming up. But at the same time, we didn't want to um, make them click through to subtopic landing pages, making them aware that also on the second level we have articles, which is a bit unusual. Um, so that was the second design principle. The third design principle was to not overwhelm people with too much information density. So we want to show them more content up front, but we don't want to overwhelm them the content that we have. Um, so those were the three design principles and what we are trying to achieve is um, we want to increase the number of article uh, of people who reach an article. We don't want people to leave us uh, on the navigation page and we want people who land on an article to uh, rate the article positively. So make sure making sure that uh, people are landing on the right articles. So this is the these are the constraints and the goals that we have when we are designing product landing page and the topic landing page. And in that context, it would be great to get feedback on what we have. And that's all I have. All right. Good. Any questions for UX in Kadir? Take one, take two? No. Okay. We can move on to roundtable, but there aren't any roundtable topics. So if you have any, you can say it now. Time is ticking. Okay, no round table. <clears throat> okay, let's move on then to Firefox desktop. Firefox desktop. Charlie, do you want to check that? Yeah, so the only update for Firefox desktop is Firefox 21 is uh, launching tomorrow. And we don't have very many new features coming in that. I put a uh, post on the contributor forum. It's linked there in the Etherpad. Uh, the big improvements are a bunch of bug and performance fixes, and then we have Firefox Health Report, which isn't a user-facing feature, but we probably will see some questions in the forum around it. Um, but uh, yep, all the details are in the contributor post. So. All right. Cool. Thanks, Tyler. Any questions? No? OK. Um, Firefox for Android. Roland is not here. Anybody want to check is that somebody's writing down? Yeah. Hi. Michelle? Um, Michelle, where are you? Hello. Was that Trent or was Hi. that Michelle? Uh, it's both yeah. of us. We're both here. Um, yeah, well, I don't have to um, the team, any, yay. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tyler, do you have any updates for Firefox or Android today? Yeah, the only one that I had is also in Rube. We have a new font for websites in Firefox 21. So if there's any rendering issues with websites or, you know, just things look weird because of this font, um, definitely want to let us know about that. Thanks. All right. Um, 
um, as, no no big updates for um, Firefox OS. It seems the go to market team is um, green, still green for launch. So we're just working towards launch. I want to thank all the localizers for translating Firefox OS help articles into the launch languages. You guys are awesome. And um, for our English KB contributors, we're continuing to work on <coughs> English articles. <laughs> All right. I see okay. somebody is agreeing <coughs> with you, Michelle. Okay. Any questions for Michelle and anything mobile? No? Okay. We can skip Thunderbird. Let's move on to metrics. Okay. Uh, so yes, here is a quick update on metrics. Uh, first of all, um, I wanted to highlight that we are now on the KPI dashboard, which is the one that is linked from here. Uh, we are now 100% on rickshaw. So last week we still had the questions grab on um, high charts. So again, um, my, my question or, or my request for everyone, my ask for everyone, uh, if you see something that isn't looking that is looking funny or should look different or you can't get the information that you used to get or you would like to get different information now, please let me know. I know this is uh, quite a change, so there might be things that we are missing, but we are going to add them back, uh, back and we need, to, we need to know about that. So one of the things that we're going to add in this sprint, um, uh, I'm not sure if I just mentioned that in the, UX, uh, in the dev update, but we are going to add back the um, the dates, so the the time frames, so you can select last six weeks, last uh, six months, half year, one year, or, and stuff like that that we had before. So that's going to come. Uh, but there might be other things that are that are missing. Um, so yeah, keep the feedback on that coming, please. One thing that we, we you could do before was you could turn off some of these graphs. So like for for questions, for example, you could choose to only show show solved in questions, for example, and. and is that going to come back to? I haven't filed a bug on that yet. Uh, also, yeah, so here's the thing. Uh, I, I know about some of these things, but I, I didn't think they were important, so I didn't uh, file a bug for each of them. Like, that's a feature I didn't use much. But that's also why I need feedback. So if someone is using features like that, we didn't want to implement uh, feature parity, like copy everything the over that we had from before. Yeah, just for the sake of it, because it takes time, and if yeah. no one is using that then it's just waste of energy but that's why I need feedback so now that I know that you are apparently using it well I mean um, I, we can I figure shouldn't out say how much I, effort that is yeah I wouldn't say that I'm using it I just noted that I couldn't I guess my first impression when I saw the questions graph and that's this is the only really for this graph is that it looks you know kind of busy right now and and uh, and I don't know if that's because uh, I used to be able to turn things off or if it's I think if I remember correctly, one of these graphs were filled, and so yeah. they kind of created a different experience in some way. So it just felt like a, a less dense uh, graph. I don't know. So it just so maybe there was something in there that changed to just make this feel more more. Yes, busy. absolutely. And actually, that's one of the feedbacks that I also have is the questions graph was filled before. It's also one of the things that uh, took us longer to implement because now we have two y-axis. Uh, so one of them, the questions one, is an absolute um, mm. axis, uh, and the other one is a percentage. So we have an, an absolute number of questions every week and or every day, and we have a percentage of those who are solved, a percentage of those who get an answer, uh, who get a right. reply. So that's why they should probably be displayed differently. Um, and yeah, that's one of the feedbacks that I'm going to get back to our developers, make sure that this is in the next sprint. I love the, the slider thing. It looks really awesome. And, and, and actually, that's one of the improvements over uh, high charts. So high charts, even if you changed uh, the uh, date range, uh, the scale would always be the same. Now, if you have seen this, uh, once you change the slider, uh, the graphs, uh, the, um, it's retained. Uh, sorry, the, the, the uh, range for the values is also uh, expanding or contracting. So that you can see when you zoom in, you can actually see the differences um, between the first week and the second week. Right, so yeah, so there I are also improvements. Uh, sorry, on this 
uh, my problem is with the dates, I cannot really see them. They're kind of transparent. <laughs> so it's very hard for me to actually see which is which. So I'm not sure if we could do something about it, but if we could, that would be great. Malina, I didn't hear that. Could you please say that again? What, what is transparent? The dates. Uh, the dates when you hover over, when you hover and you just want to see like what happened on the 5th of May, on the 6th of May and so on and so forth. Yes. Um, they are super transparent and I can barely see them. So, and sometimes they just overlap with the responded in 24 hours thingy. Yes, absolutely. We already have. Thank you for the feedback. Uh, that is indeed an issue. We already have a back, uh, bug for that. So hopefully we can get to that as soon as we have moved everything over. So that's one of the next things that we're going to work on. But yeah, so this is the kind of feedback that we need. Uh, please, please keep that coming. Yeah, so basically, if you me, see, you if you see things, bug, you, I was just going to say what you're saying right now. Like uh, you either send an email to Kadir or, or file a bug if you see anything that uh, um, you're missing or that you would like to improve. So there's right. one more thing beyond this. Uh, and actually, maybe we can talk about this or maybe this can be talked about next week. Uh, but for some reason, our army of, and this is uh, not about the technology <laughs> this time, but about the content of our uh, metrics. So uh, the Army of Awesome uh, contributors, we were really uh, seeing a surge, huge number of Army of uh, Awesome contributors getting on board uh, within the last few weeks, a record number even. And for some reason, we saw a very sharp drop over uh, the last week, uh, last two weeks even. Uh, so I don't actually know why that is. Um, I wanted to ask if someone here, um, at any theory that we can, we should look at the top uh, top ten people. I mean, I would imagine that if we you saw this this spike, then you would also see a change in the top ten, and then uh, so it'd be interesting to compare that week over week, to see if there were some people contributing a lot for a, a short period of time and then disappeared. And that would be a good opportunity to reach out to those people too and ask about their experience and what their thoughts were using that platform. Well, this, I think this is okay. about number, uh, but this. Yes, so you're right. Are you yeah, are you so still I, for there? some reason I thought okay. it was the number of tweets. You're right. Uh, no, no. So we uh, here we are looking at the number of contributors. Uh, yeah. So when you Sorry. tweet one thing, you are considered a contributor. Um, yeah. So then I'm I'm out of ideas. I don't I don't know this is, I well, don't know yeah, <laughs> at all actually. Reports. We still need to run a few reports to see what happened like two weeks ago and then what happened during these two weeks. Who dropped out and these kind of things. So I think we can find an answer, but we, we just need some data on it. So Kadir, let's just run a few reports, see what happened there. So Madalina, is that your, your, you own that action item to, to explore that? Mm -hmm. Yep, myself okay. and Kadir, because he needs to run the reports <laughs> for me. I can do that. Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, I, yeah, let, let's work on this and let's see which reports we yeah. want to run uh, to figure this out. Yeah, okay. so if any, if, and if anyone has any information about something special that happened in the last two weeks, three weeks, um, any major holidays in any of our major countries uh, where we are present or anything, let me know or let Madlina know. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Uh, any other questions on metrics? If not, we can move on to community. And Ooh. we're very excited, very, very excited to see that the Polish, the Spanish, and the Portuguese Delta and teams, they keep rocking on Firefox OS. Um, we keep getting all these articles translated, and that's amazing. We're, what, 100% of where? No, we're, I mean, like, we just, um, Michelle just said uh, last Friday some new articles. Um, so we have a couple of new articles there. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the, the translation teams, uh, again, they're not the only ones translating. I know that some um, some other folks have, have, all, have been also translating the Firefox OS articles, the French. Um, you know, there's a lot of people. We, we, we keep on referring to this uh, three teams because those are the, the locales where it's going to be launched. So, you know, it's like, you know, our, our first uh our first lookouts um and and they're doing an, an amazing, amazing excellent job. job uh but everyone else who's, who's uh, translating is also yes. rocking it everybody's rocking it we're just like 
keep pushing on these guys because actually they have a lot of pressure on their heads right now. So we really, really appreciate their efforts because we know it's a, it's a tough job, especially when you get like a, you have this many articles to translate by this time. It's not easy. So thank you guys so much for, for your awesome job and we love you very much. And of course, the rest of the guys as well, because everybody rocks in this community. Right. All right. We love everyone. We love everybody. Yeah. We should bring a heart here. Um, anything else on LTN? Yeah, well, um, I, I mentioned it before that we're going to have the new, um, the new rights management system is going to be switched on soon. Um, so we hope to give a lot of flexibility to local leaders. Um, so I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to that. If anyone finds any problems, like if you were used to um, update the English KD and suddenly you don't have any reviewer rights and you find that, um, you know, that's weird or you want to have them, you know, don't hesitate, uh, ask uh, myself or Michael and uh, we'll figure it out. And, and, you know, we have now these rules and, you know, these guidelines on how to set uh, reviewer rights for the KD so we can, we can work it out. Uh, so that's that's going to be very, yeah. Oh, there's. Hello. Hey, Patrick has a, his camera working. Hey, yeah. And that's Patrick, his floor. Yeah. <laughs> Your floor is amazing, Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, now it's that. Now we have finally we see Patrick. Okay. So, um, that was on the on the rights management. Um, there's also I posted there the new Firefox OS articles for this week. Michelle posts uh, that every week. I make an update to the forum. Oh. Oh. What's that? That's a huge chat. Like, he just get, he was just outside and now he's coming in and he's extremely excited when he comes in. Oh look, there's, uh, there's so much. Well, now he, tiger ass competition. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who oh, wins this that's... fight? <laughs> I think Papa Song wins. What the hell is going on? Why am I here? Yeah. Well, so this is the, this is the moment, the unicorn Papa San tiger moment of the week. <laughs> And now everybody say, ah. Oh. Yeah, oh, it's really good. So uh, just to finish my sentence, and the articles are posted. You can go there and check the plan. There are links here. I, uh, every week I update the, uh, the thread on the um, Elton and Farm, so we're good. Yep. And that's it. All right. So that's it on Elton and If you guys have any questions, please let us know now or ask Rosanna later or pop her an email or ping her. So let's move on to knowledge base, Michael. It's your time. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, the big thing I just wanted to let people know is um, we could use some help doing research for Firefox 22. Um, I think I've got a list of all the things that are changing, at least links to bugs. Um, we've got to figure out what articles that maps to. Um, that takes some some detective work. Um, so I put a bunch of links there. And the other thing I want to let people know about is um, Kadir and I worked on doing a, a test of collapsible sections. So this is an idea that we've had for forever, uh, where like you take the like the H1, um, everything under an H1 in a knowledge base article, and be able to collapse it um, so that we could. Um, you know, show, selectively show only certain parts of an article. Um, so we did a test with a, an article where all the sections are expanded the way they are now and one where all the sections are collapsed. Um, so if you want to read any part of the article besides the introduction, you have to click and expand. Um, and that actually produced a 1% increase in helpfulness. Um, so we want to test... Wow. We're going to do a test with um, one where one section is open because in reality we would probably always have it one, at least one section open. So we'll, we're going to try to work on that test next. Yeah. And so, I mean, that is pretty awesome um, because first of all, we don't need to rewrite any articles to get that bump in uh, upvotes. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, but on the other hand, we also increase the number of people who are voting now. Right. So that's particularly interesting for articles that aren't visited by that many people. Um, so now that we're getting more votes, um, the, um, their ratings are more accurate. And 
this is even more important for other languages uh, where we, we had uh, very few votes before so that they couldn't actually rely on the votes to tell whether to work on an article or not. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this and thanks Michael for pushing this forward. And the reason why people vote more is just because the articles are, are shorter so it's easier to get to the bottom of it or what? Do we have any any thoughts on why people increase their voting? I mean, that would be my guess, but I'm just curious to hear if you've thought of it. Yeah, so, of course, this is all conjecture because we don't know any of this. And my theory is that people are actually now seeing um, those, um, well, they are now seeing where they can vote. Before that, they had to scroll to the bottom of an, art the bottom of an article. And now, because the sections are um, collapsed, they're actually getting to the bottom of the article much faster. They don't have to scroll much. Sometimes not at all. Yeah, that's what I meant. Well, I mean, we, and, and we do have the... see that an article... Yeah. We do have the survey in the sidebar, but that could be something that people miss. It, yeah, not... It could also be that um, by making them click on everything, too, I mean, it helps, like, it's part of the, like, you are now interacting with this article. You're clicking, 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 clicking hey, there's also a survey. Let me click on that. I don't know. That's another guess, too. That's an interesting yeah. theory. So, uh, so on, the, on the question of whether we, we people click on the sidebar poll or if they click on the, in, at the bottom, that should be something that we should be able to track, from, right? We should yes. be able to see that. Yeah, so we did that already. Unfortunately, few people are clicking on um, the survey in the sidebar, maybe because uh, sidebars usually have information that they're uh, uh, they're full of ads and not that important information. Maybe that's it. But we've seen that people uh, generally don't click on uh, the site that very much, even though uh, even in the expanded version, um, the survey is right there, but it's in the sidebar. So it's not necessarily in, in their center of vision. But when they go through the site, the, site, uh, the actual survey at the bottom of the article, it's right in the middle. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, I I barely even noticed that thing in the sidebar. I I would guess that, I mean, I'm extrapolating my behavior to the rest of the world, which is my, my tendency. <laughs> you do that too. <laughs> so, no, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm such a, uh, but 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 yeah, I think I've seen in some other sites I've seen this thing where they they have this uh, always showing bar at the bottom. Basically, you know, as you scroll up and down, you always see this thing. Uh, I don't know if that would be something that we should would be interesting for us to explore if we want to increase the the, the amount of people voting. Yeah, that, but that yeah, was I agree not with what you're goal, saying, though. Kadir, on the sidebar okay. being kind of almost ignored. If you once you're in the main content area with your eyes, you're not going to look at the sidebar anymore as you scroll down. Right, and one one more positive thing is uh, we know that people are engaging with the site more when things are collapsed. So they're not just glancing over them and getting right to the uh, surveys. They're actually yeah. engaging with the site, clicking at the sections and expanding them. So people understand how they work. So yeah, we are going to expand this test uh, and see if we can improve uh, the 1% bump uh, to even more, hopefully. And let's see how that goes. All right, great cool. stuff. Um, any other questions for KB or any uh, any other updates about it? Okay, then we can move to the sport forum. I don't have a lot of updates because I was away last week, um, but I just want to make like a reminder um, because we're launching, we have a new release of Firefox 21 tomorrow. We will expect a higher number of questions um, than usual, so please see the updates on the thread that Tyler started. Um, and if you have anything to report or anything comes up or you want to comment on anything, please do it on that thread. It's very useful. Um, and yes, thank you for all your efforts and let's see if we can you know, be more than 90% on the 24 hours rate, even with the launch of Firefox 21. Okay, we have a contributor of the week nominations here. Yeah, I just I just wrote it down. I mean, since we're starting this week, um, 
uh, and we, we haven't prepared the nominations yet. Um, I, I'm putting this, so maybe next week we can fill in this and, and, and have them for next week. It might not be for exactly this week, but since we're getting started, I just wanted to kick it off. And I'm nominating uh, Tad and Andrew for the live chat presentation. So uh, contributors and team um, just put there your nominations so that next week we already have a little list when we get started. And I'll post yeah. to the uh, contributor form so that our contributors know and they can start thinking about this. Yep, that's great. So anybody who has a nomination, please put it there. And then we yeah. see. Who's the contributor of the week? Yeah, or the contributors, <laughs> right? Or the exactly. contributors, yeah. right? Which would probably be in two weeks. Well, let's say next meeting. Next meeting, exactly. All right. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. We any have... anyone with any uh, unicorns or rainbows or something like that? Um, I had one thing that last week, um, on the same day, last Monday, there was a a meeting from creative and marketing about. The Firefox OS launch, and they did provide some information about how to get a launch T-shirt. So I wanted to let people know that that that's on Air Mozilla. You should watch oh, that cool. presentation for a lot of cool stuff and ways to get a launch T-shirt. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Do you have a, do you have a link for that? It's on Air Mozilla. Um, uh, yeah, it's on Air Mozilla. Okay, cool, cool. Thanks for the update. We should put it yeah. here in the Etherpad. Let's look for that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Sounds good. Um, all right, then. I guess that's it. We have a few decisions and action items for next meeting. Um, so David or Michael, one of you will be the unicorn in the next meeting. Whoever comes. I was going to say, here's my unicorn. I have it right here on the desktop. <laughs> so I can might as well use it. Uh, yeah, not enough. I don't know. You, you need to put something up on his head. All right. Sorry, you're not enough. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't make the cut, Tiger. I'm sorry. See, how come Tiger doesn't get Oz? Oh. <laughs> oh <God. laughs> I need to get an animal. Yeah, I'm we so we I'm not cool with this team. I wonder if they can see each other. Yeah, you know, don't you know Norma, Norma is puking all over the place, so I, I'm just having a moment. And I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. So it's, it's, all right, meeting's over. We don't need to see that. So it's not, right. it's not all, all, all good things with dogs. But. <laughs> Looking forward to next meeting where Norma is gonna be fine. Hopefully. All right then. Well, uh, have a lovely week everybody and enjoy your unicorns and all your stories and everything and see you very soon yeah see you guys have a Bye. great week take care bye bye, bye. 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 bye.